Hello guys, my name is Fox and welcome to part 14 of our Crystal Rings 2 Horselord series. Let's continue. So, in the previous episode I finished the war with Bojok. Only took one uh, one uh, country from them, but it was pretty hard war. Because apparently they had a pretty significant army. And also we are uh, about to finish our war with the Abbasids. It's actually going a lot easier than I expected it. Expected, expected it to go, so that's great. Also, my chancellor is improving relations with the another clans, which uh, is useful because I just lost my blood oath with this guy because uh, his father died, and the blood oath is only uh, until the death of one of the people who is involved. Oh, well, that's unfortunate. Also, Taitz is doing something in here, attacking uh, Armenia in the conquest of Gurgan. Okay, it's cool. Oh, Armenia is really... have a really ugly borders. Okay. But we're actually already getting close to this region with all of our borders. But I'm probably not gonna be going here because I'm not willing to really deal with the Abbasids for, for now at least. I don't think we could handle it. And we have plenty of lands uh, in India and just in Europe as well. Also, there's tons of children who need educators. So, uh, we already... Oh, this guy have no educator. Oh, damn it, I forgot to take this one and he's already 10 without an educator. That was a mistake. Uh, this one gonna go to someone else because he's not quick. The girl just go to whoever. This guy gonna also uh, go to me because he's quick. And you're gonna go to someone else. Okay, that's better. And the quick ones I would try to uh, teach into being my heirs if possible. Also, this stupid Buddhist uprising is just sieging... Interesting, the Buddhist uprising even managed to build forts. Okay. Uh, guys, could you please do something with that? You've joined this war, so why can't you freaking take this hundred stick? Also, my son just became 16 while sitting imprisoned by the Abbasids, and his education is terrible. Okay, you're not gonna be uh, my heir anytime soon. Uh, also, please don't siege Kiva. Please don't. God damn it, I just lost all of my freaking war score. Okay, it's back. Never mind. 5% more, and we're gonna be able to finish the war. Another one's already in a prison right into our face. How convenient is that? And. A pillage is available. Let's go and do it a couple more times. As long as it's 50 gold, I'm uh, fine with that. Nice. One of my concubines is pregnant as well. How's our concubines looking? 40, 39, 32. Sounds fine. Four more percents and we're gonna be able to take some gold from the Abbasids. Which is great. It's now less than it showed last time. But still, 400 is nice. More Zoroastrians rising. Okay. I'm sorry for pillaging your lands, but... You raising right in here are not gonna help much, you know? It's just gonna give me more and more prestige. Which I approve. Uh, also, these Buddhist guys just sieging all of my lands. And my allies <laughs> doesn't seem to be care much, even though they are technically the part of this uh, war. But okay, I guess I'm gonna deal with it on my own. Improved relations some more. Okay, what about blood off now? You're still not accepting. Okay, now finish the war with the Abbasids. Thanks for the gold and for all the sweets and treats you gave me. And now we're gonna deal with this uprising and then... I'm gonna go and move my capital to where I want it to be in Fergana. And also, we would need to spend this thousand gold. Also, I think we could 
switch the reinforcement back on the full speed. Not that we need it right now, really. Because our army is already fully reinforced, but... Uh, we need to add some more troops into our army. We have available manpower, we have uh, available gold. And I remember that we lost a couple of stacks. Uh, While well, we got into some battle with Bojok, I guess, or someone else. Okay, these guys are really uh, annoying. Also, we got our first daughter. Okay, that's cool. And apparently one of our sons died as a sickly infant. The one who were, uh, who were a quick one, that's unfortunate. But we already have tons of quick sons, so... Shouldn't be much of a problem, right? You need to become zealous or kind. Both of them are nice modifiers for a warrior. Plus two martial. Yeah, that's great. You are quick, child of a concubine, and a zealous. It's actually the second born son, right? No, the third one. Okay. Uh, temperance is also pretty fine. Only 74% war score, really? I just stack wiped their army, so what the heck are you talking about? They're supposed to be surrendering like immediately. Um, but looks like it's not the case in here. Okay, could I now uh, change my capital? No. Oh, peace time. Okay, so the Buddhist uprising also technically considered as a as a war. Okay, I guess so. I guess I would have to research all of these stupid things. Uh, my half-brother has turned into a very experienced merc uh, mercenary commander. That's definitely great to hear. But he's also stressed and not anymore. Okay. That's cool. He has 20 marshal. That's really great. So, if we were to inherit right now, everything should be fine. The threat from trusted hunting dog has finally taken his last breath. Uh, we're just gonna bury him in the castle garden as our father did. And the others, uh, and the rest of our characters as well. 50 gold from here, yes please. And more from here, and more from here. And we have 1300. Awesome. It's gonna be tons of improvements. Okay, finish this freaking last siege. That's really annoying. This war needs to finish right now. Also, Sky, your favorite war horse, has taken his last gallop across the step. That's unfortunate, so we would need to take another one horse and call it Sky as well, I assume. Uh, choose a war horse. I'm gonna be Sky. Sky is the second. And my concubine is pregnant again. Cool. Okay, 100%. Finally. Go away. Uh, no, I don't want to settle. I'd hoped that you could pillage it, but no. Now we could move our capital to Fergana. Let's go and do this. I sure want to move your capital to Fergana, making it blah blah blah. And uh, for a hundred months I couldn't change. Yes, sounds fine. And now our marshal need to work in here. And Stuart need to work in here. And now we could finally build ourselves a minter, I hope. Has trade post. Really? Moving my capital actually destroyed the trade post? That's stupid. Okay, I could rebuild it, I guess. Oh yeah, we just moved the capital. Everything is great. Uh, while the trade post is being built, let's go and try to squeeze some quick upgrade in here as well. Have 200 days almost on everything. More nomad text, more population growth. Sounds great. So this thing gonna finish in one year. This thing gonna finish in one year. So great. You're gonna be able to build one more building while the trade post is uh, being constructed. You're improving relations even more. What about blood oath now, please? Still no. Okay. That's unfortunate. Uh, and we now could have s up to six clans. I don't know if I'm gonna be creating any more clans right now. Maybe for subjugation of Bozok, 
I think we could like create another one clan somewhere here and give all the lands in here to them. Also that's really unfortunate that this guy is not pillaging any of his lands because he currently considers only one holding to be underneath him, the Kashgar, and the rest is just have too much feudal in them. Even his capital is not considered as a part of realm, which is kinda strange, the well. So, okay, next thing what we want to do is add some more troops into our army. What do we have in here? Tons of horse archers, not that much light calf. Okay, I'm just gonna add uh, a little bit of everyone. Like tons of horse archers, tons of heavy, some lights, some skirmishers and more archers and more... Okay, that's enough. Uh, why can't I edit more? Maximum manpower size has been reached. Okay, that's fair enough. And we even have uh, some spare gold. We're gonna spend tons on the reinforcements, but should be fine. How much supply we have in here? We have enough, okay. Let's go and merge the armies. Or the restaurants risings. Okay. Yes, we're gonna test our new army on you. Now that we need it. Uh, more armies. The rise of the Shia. Yet again. I don't know what's happening with this uh, event, but when, we will, when we've been playing as the Mali, the rise of the Shia event also fired like five times maybe. And in here as well, I can't really see much Shia provinces around. This event just firing and firing and firing again and again, and I don't know what's supposed to happen after this event, but... Yeah. Also, guys, could you please let me not suffer any attrition while I sit sitting in, in my capital? Oh, more heretics. Got added to Kiva. Still not enough to deal with me, but yeah. Army of Uzur. Why the hell you're sitting in here? Eddie has spent his hard earned wealth on attracting and recruiting more soldiers for his mercenary band. My half brother. Uh, okay. I guess it's gonna help you with something. Maybe you're gonna like get more money or something. We could pillage this. Yeah, uh, once again, sounds great. And this as well. Okay. Also, is this new Le Congressing considered? Yeah, it is considered as our lands because there is no feudal holdings in here. Okay. Also, what about our trade posts? I assume we could not build any more of them because we don't have much invest into the trade practices. And we're still kind of far away from that, but oh well. Uh, more sons, more quick ones, great. And you need to be humble if possible. Okay, at least not proud, which is fine too. Could we catch you in here? May, June, yes we could, great. And now that we have our new army, we could probably go and... Oh, first of all, no, not pillage. 10 gold is not enough. We'd, we could go on uh, conquering some more. And considering that we could have so much clans, we should uh, probably consider uh, creating some more clans. Because this one seems a little bit odd. And yeah, he's definitely not pillaging this place. I'm pretty sure. Because it should have a modifier, right? Burn the land, yeah. And he have none. That means that he's not gonna destroy anything. And that means he's gonna stay with one holding for the rest of his life. Because most of these places also are, are feudal. Okay. Hmm. I still have a truth with Borjok and they're also kind of powerful. Actually no, we do not have a truce with them. We could declare a subordination if we want. Also, we could as well attack Yugra. Which are not that powerful at all. And we cre could create a new clan in here, if we want so. 
uh, desired countries per clan 5. And yes, this guy have 9 and he still have a desire for more grazing lands. So I don't understand how uh, how this is working, but okay. So, more lands. What should I do in here? First of all, when the hell this construction is being finished? Okay, trade post is already done. This thing is already done. Let's go and start with a minter. Global trade route wealth. Global trade route income. Global trade value. Yes. Every, sin uh, every single thing in here sounds great. And also this burnt land thing. Gonna go away relatively soon in couple more years. Also we are being pillaged by Otokan. Okay. But Otokan is actually slowly getting a... Uh, Getting eaten by the different clans. Do I even have a like map mode for clans? It would be useful, kind of. But okay, I guess not. So this guy controls this. And this guy controls. Why oh, is it not showing? Okay, that's really weird. When I'm clicking on this, it's showing me all his lands. But when I'm clicking on this, it's not showing me. It's just showing me two of these holdings. That's stupid. Okay, what about these guys? Should we be absorbing some more of them? Probably yes. Yeah, let's actually just finish with them. Give some more lands to this clan. I understand that... It's all gonna be feudal, but still. Not much I could do really about this. And why the hell you're not accepting our blood oath? Because you're an ambitious little bastard. Okay. Sounds fair enough. The concept surges of adrenaline has increased the rates. Blah blah. I'm losing a wrath trait. Okay. I think it's fine. Lost the steward. Let's get a new one. And you're just gonna be overseeing construction. Because I am going to construct tons of stuff in my capital. Also, another one son needs an educator. And that's about it. Also, you have a de jure claim in here. Should we actually declare a de jure war on this? That would be actually probably fine. Yeah, the jure claim probably gonna be easier for us to to do, and also it's gonna increase uh, the relations with this uh, with this guy. Not with his with the entirety of his clan, I think, but still. Also, do you have allies? Yeah, Kroon is actually your ally. Okay, that's not great. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> What kind of CBs do we have on Croran? Subordination of Croran for two provinces. Or invasion of Cotton, but we have not enough population for this. Okay. I don't want to deal with Croran. But I guess I would have to. Let's just declare a de jure war on the Yark end. Let's go and call in all of our vassals. And let's just go and siege it. And start getting war score for this. Considering th that it's feudal, it's probably not gonna help our vassal again. To get more grazing lands, but whatever, at least he's gonna get, uh, have something. This guy's spending some more money on the mercenaries. Okay. And he's also somewhere around here. Cool. At least it's showing that he's here. Maybe he's not technically there. Who knows? How this mercenary thing works. Minter has been built in... Kavakhent. Okay. Uh, now we have... some more income from this thing, hopefully. Plus we're not getting that much income from it because uh, the land is still burned. So uh, tax modifiers are kind of dropped, but 
Soon we, uh, soon we will. Uh -huh. Anything we could build for more trade post limit it would be really useful. Also, we have all of these places, or all of these things we could build. Oh, but we need like to have port or major river or desert or jungle, which is fine. Some points, some stuff, some morale. I think we already been, we already built wrestling, but maybe just got destroyed while moving. More supply, more max population, sounds great. Let's get it upgraded, and actually, it is already time for me to have a break, guys, so we are gonna finish right now and continue in the next episode. So, if you enjoyed watching this, you could leave a like, if you want to see more, you could subscribe, and if you want to leave a comment, you should definitely do it, and I would answer as soon as I could. See you later, guys. Bye-bye.